Okay. Well, that's not bad then. Alrighty. The next match coming down today. It is going to be on Ascension to Ire. A really cool map. Uh, in the top left hand corner, representing the Risen community. He just won the last game. Can he win another one for the Risen team? He is the Blue Terran. It is Pin. And spawning in the bottom right. Coming out as the second second player for Snipe. He's the Red Zerg player. Kangaroo Sack. Not to be confused <clears throat> with Kangaroo Jack. That's his cousin. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was a good movie. I uh, I actually kind of wanted to watch it the other day, but um, ended up being all scratched up. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, one from my childhood. I don't remember too much about it. Yeah, I, all oh. I remember is it was about a kangaroo, and he got lost or something like that, and it had uh, Ice Cube in it, I think. Or uh, I, Ed, Eddie Murphy, right? No, I don't think it was Eddie Murphy, but... Oh, no? I thought Eddie Murphy was the kangaroo or something. He was like, what you, oh. what, what, you want some? He was like punching people and stuff. Oh, no? yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's true. I was thinking of more like the side characters than the actual kangaroo, but... Yeah, I think uh, I think Ice Cube was <clears> like, a, like a side character like that. So anyways, uh, in this TVP, or TVZ, sorry, we do have uh, double gas first, it seemed like, and we got the factory coming, so it looks like he's going to kind of maybe do the same thing here kind of preparing for that same kind of cheese or you know just making sure yeah so know. i'm as a protoss player i'm a little detached from this uh meta so is this something that uh terran players are doing a lot against zerg or is it just a pen thing uh it depends i know a lot of people they like to do a 2-1-1 um to where they get the marine or they get the uh the reaper out to scout they build an additional barracks and then they get the factory in and then they get like a starport and then they begin to do drops and stuff. Um, yeah, that that sixteen marine drop. Yes, um, it's something. It does look like he is going to go that the same kind of build that he did last time. He's going to get the Hellions. Um, he's going to get some cyclones. Uh, this is a very aggressive kind of timing attack build. It seems like so we'll have to yeah. see um, how the the Zerg player responds. He is going three hatch here, so. And this is going to be a pretty dangerous push. He is making the armory again for his two Hellions, I suppose. <clears throat> and he's going to have a handful of Marines and some Cyclones, and he's just going to try to see if he can kill the Zerg. So I guess it's going to come down to was Kangaroo Sack watching the last game? Does he know that this is something that Penn likes to do? Yeah. I know um, <clears throat> a lot of Zerg players, once they see that factory, they do want to go into roaches. However, with the Cyclones coming into play, it's going to be de definitely dangerous, as we saw in the last game where he really um, he really didn't have an answer to the hell the Hellbats and the Marines and the uh, Cyclones. So yeah. we'll have to see what, what he has in store for this. Uh, we do have a poke coming in here from the Blue Terran player, trying to make sure, you know, He's not spreading his creep too far, making sure he sees any kind of uh, pressure or anything like that coming in. So, uh, I, so I actually don't think Zerg knows this is a one base Terran build because he could have a, a, another CC on the high ground, right? It would last time he scouted. Yeah. So he's he is making some Zerglings now, but he's been making a lot of drones. It has me kind of nervous for him. <clears throat> yeah. uh, I feel like this can't really be a timing. I mean, a all in build because he does get the plus one with it. So unless he's really going to wait for that plus one to finish, then I feel like this isn't going to be a all-in. But these cyclones are very expensive, so it could still be. And that's one of the big problems right here is um, we have the Zerg player. He's on three bases right now, and that's just going to help him get all of the drones, get all the workers that he needs to kind of make a big push. And the longer that the Zerg or the Terran player waits, um, the more it's gonna he's gonna be able to build up. We do have the bailing nest coming in for the Zerg, um, and we have this push coming in. I, I think if this doesn't work, uh, he's gonna be behind. He doesn't have the econ the economy to be able to rebuild. So if this gets stopped, um, I don't think it, it's gonna be really hard for him to. I guess defend oh, yeah. if the Zerg player decides to come back and 
Yeah, uh, make, make no mistake, this is a uh, plus one Cyclone Hellion timing off of one base, and he's trying to kill him. He has to do significant damage with this push, or he is not going to be able to stay in this game. Uh, Hellions, I mean, uh, Cyclones are going to be able to kill these spines before they're able to finish. Queen's getting a little ahead of themselves, going to lose one or Just two from free here. Just getting obliterated. Yep, uh, Ling's rushing in before the Banelings, but... Splits are pretty decent, but it's just too many Zerglings for these units to really oh, yeah. contend with. Oh yeah, and he just cleans that up. I mean, that was just a perfect defense there. Uh, we do have additional units kind of streaming in, but once he realizes it's not going to be, he's going to go back. But these Lings are going to be able to start picking these off. Um, and he, like I said, he just doesn't have the, uh, he doesn't have any buildings at home to be able to kind of defend against this. I mean, he does have the wall, which is really nice, but. With those, with the bailing nest and those bailings coming in, he can just tear that down with no problem. Be able to get in there, flood it, and just be able to to attack. So, yeah, and Ten's gonna be stuck just in his base making cyclones. He's not really gonna be able to do a whole lot else. It's gonna be interesting to see if Zerg is gonna bailing bust this. He's still making zerglings right now, so I would assume he's going to attack most likely. Okay, he's starting up drones now. Looks like he's and, gonna try uh, this again. Yeah, he's ready for round two. He's pulling even more SCVs, going down to just like 12 mining, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's 34 to 21, but with, you know, half of his SCVs there, um, I mean, he's only got seven mining right now. So it's just, it, every, every time that the Zerg player kills all these SCVs, it's just hurting him more economically. I mean, if you look at the income for both people, uh, Zerg has, you know, almost 1,800 minerals income, while the Terran player is at like, you know, six, seven hundred with mules. So, um, yeah. definitely a big difference there. And uh, Zerg is going to try to drop this main base. How Pin does have a few <laughs> units ready for it. Um, there's a lot of bandings though, so I wonder how successful this push will be. Yeah, I mean, he does have the SCBs to kind of soak up some of the bailing hits if he can get them and trying to salvage some of the uh, Cyclones. But these hits are just so great. He's just going to clear this up once again. I mean, the SCBs try to go in to try to help uh, heal these units, but just the surround on all those units and the bailing hits is too much for him. Oh my god, that Cyclone has 25 kills. Too bad it's not enough. He couldn't carry for his team. And there's the GG. Yeah. 